All right, guys. Papa Top Nine One Two coming at you again with another one of our What Tastes Better videos, and just wanted to kind of let y'all know what's going on here. Today we are doing steak souvé with two different type of steaks. here we got steak A right here one two three four and then we have steak B Steak B right here. Got two nice pieces right there. One, two. So I cooked these in the sous vide at 135 for one hour and 45 minutes. So you can see those steaks right there. They're nice and tender. Very tender. Gonna give under the finger. And now, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and pat them dry. And then we're gonna take them out to the grill and we're gonna sear them. We're not gonna sear them with charcoal. We're gonna sear these steaks. Well, with the blowtorch. All right, y'all, welcome back. We made it back to the kitchen now. As you can see, the steaks have been seared off. So they have much better color than they did when they came out of that soup a bag. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna grab two of them. I'll take hmm, short dog, number one, and then this will be Steak specimen number two. Now, if I cut this one the wrong way, I'm gonna just start over again, but I wanna make sure I get it on the grain. But I think the grains are running this way, so I need to cut it on the long side. So I'm gonna just hold that still. I'm gonna cut it, and yes, I got it right. You can see all the little pieces in there. It's perfect. I'm gonna turn the camera around now, y'all. So steak A is gonna be this one here, and steak B is gonna be that one. We're gonna flip the camera around and let y'all see our reactions to the meat. All right, y'all. We are back, and it's time to eat. So we're gonna start with steak A. This one? Yep. Mm. You wanna pop that one in half for you and mama to split or you wanna be greedy? Which one do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Let me cut mama's in half, y'all. Make the bite better. All right, mama, grab yours, I'll grab mine. Three, mm. two, one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's mild in flavor to me. That's not overpowering. Tender, but has some chew. Mm -hmm. I but agree. Not overpowering. Mm -hmm. What you think, little bits? What that mean? Good. You just here for the food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Let's everybody get piece of steak number two. Okay. 
Why'd it you was like more tender. So number two was more tender for you. To me the tenderness were on the same level, but B was beefier. Much beefier. I could taste the beef in it. <laughs> so why did you like stick one better? More flavor. <laughs> more flavor. Mm. All right. So, these are both choice cut steaks, and they're not any of your, I would say, A-grade steaks. These would be on the next level down on like a B-grade steak, or a cheaper cut. What's this one? So, I'm going to tell you that the two steaks that we have for tonight, because they're not going to have any idea what these names are. So one was the Denver steak. What? I was going to guess that. And the other one is a tri-tip. Huh? So they get to decide which one is Denver and which one is tri-tip. Let's see if they can figure that out. So. I say one is tri-tip and two is Denver. And you say? I ain't going with the opposite. You saying one is Denver? Mm -hmm. And two is tri tip. Yes. So, why do you say what made you say that? What makes you? Well, just going by all of the um, research that we were, had been looking at. Okay. And them saying that the Denver steak is pretty tender. So. All right. And why'd you say what you said? No idea. You know. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to do some research for the next challenge. All right. No, I don't. You know I have school. <laughs> so school all day. The little one got it right. Yay! Steak A was the Denver steak. Okay. And steak B was the tri tip. <laughs> now we've had tri tip before. We we eat that mm. a lot. And the Denver steak is this one that we just came across recently as we are sitting in the house because these are the quarantine chronicles. So most regular people, they want to watch movies or do something, play board games. No, we're up till the wee hours of the night watching how to butcher cows and pigs. <laughs> <laughs> so on one of the many videos that we were watching, we came across the Denver steak and said, we got to do it. So, called my local butcher. They are doing curbside pickup, touchless delivery, no human contact. Went down there, picked it up, bought it home, cooked it. Already had the tri-tip in the house because they say we eat that a lot. So, this is Papa Top 912 and the crew with another one of our What Tastes Better challenges and... What did it taste better? Who won? Did, did I, I vote? I don't think you did. I chose. <laughs> no, this, this one won. This one won. That one won. I thought you said one. No, we both. I think I said, well, I like, I did say hands down, tri tip better. That's right. I said mm -hmm. hands down, B was better. So I okay. voted first. So and the tri tip won over the Denver people. But don't get it wrong. The Denver, extremely tender. But it's a little more chewy because it comes out the chuck. So it's got a lot more connective tissue in there. But mm -hmm. it wasn't like you're going to hurt your jaws trying to eat it. So, Power Talk 912 and the crew signing off. See y'all later. <laughs>